Ni hao, and that's Chinese for hi. Welcome to Udemy's course, Self-Defense Secrets of the Taijung Dao Style. It's a two-part series. The first part teaches you the fundamentals of personal protection, how to use a cane to protect yourself. It leads up to the second course, which is an advanced course, in how to become a windmill warrior. So you can consider the first course sort of like high school. The advanced course is like college. So if you go to high school, you can learn enough to make it in life, and that's like the course is. It's like a standalone. If you never take anything else, it'll get you by. Now let me ask you, have you ever wanted to carry a weapon with you? Can you imagine a weapon that you can carry in your hand every day? Every place you go, the closest thing to a baseball bat you'll ever carry, and nobody will ever question you about it. Now, what is this weapon? It's an ordinary cane. Now, you're going to think canes are just for old people or people who are injured. They can't get around and they need some help, so they use a cane. Canes can be used for a couple of other things that you'll find quite interesting. And as you see, if surmised, a cane can be used for personal protection. It's very inconspicuous. Nobody ever questions the right to use it because if they do, it's to ask you why you're carrying and you can say, oh, my hip's been bothering me and I need something to help me along and maintain my balance. Okay but you can carry it everywhere you go. And that's the nice part. I carry it on a trip. We go on cruises. We go around to different places around the world. I go through airlines, cruise ships, all their securities. Never been questioned about it. Using a cane is good for all ages, uh, especially the older people, because as you get older, you're going to need one. Right? Now's the time to start practicing. Not, the cane not only being good for self-defense, it's good for helping you to be an individual who stands out in a crowd. Why? Because you get an additional skill. When you learn to use the canes in this course, you're going to be learning how to be a trendsetter in your group. You're going to learn how to entertain people. Because using canes, you learn to spin them. Doesn't sound like much, but spinning can lead to a lot of things. Now you take a cane and you can start spinning it around doing all sorts of things that people are going to take notice of you. So what did I do? I started looking on YouTube and different places like that. YouTube was a good place to really get some information. And one thing I found was you can spin swords. So I found out how to use two swords because in the course you're going to find out there was one of the greatest uh, swordsmen in Japan was a man named Miyamoto Musashi and he advocated the use of two swords. And ever since I read his book, uh, The Book of Five Rings, I said, I've got to do that too. Now I use two canes. I can spin them. I can work. And in and, and the same way you do that, you use to spin the swords. So you're learning that. Now, if you've ever been to uh, see some island shows where some natives, they take this fire and they spin it and they do all sorts of fancy things with fire, that's known as poi. Poi is, in America, fire is kind of not really, it's kind of frowned on. You can use these things and spin them. Okay? The same techniques. You take them and you spin them around and a whole lot of other things. I get into doing this at a drum circle that I go play at. Every Saturday night we go out and play the drums. When the sun goes down, bring out the poi and I start spinning. People like it. I've even had some people applause. You can go on to other things. Uh, beside poi, uh, you can spin, if you like these, you ever seen uh, like a walking stick? They're about that high, they call them a bow staff. You can take those and you can start spinning those around. You can get into that stuff. You can get into screma sticks. Two sticks, fighting, spinning around. And then there's one, as a matter of fact, it's, it's very popular, I believe it's in uh, Georgia, it's called Kappa Alpha Psi uh, fraternity. It's mostly a colored fraternity, and there, what they do is they take these little canes, not a, not full size, but they're a little kind of short, 
and they can really move them fast by spinning. But they'll have spinning all around their body and all sorts of maneuvers. And they take and they have competitions. So this isn't just a, an old man's item. Back around the 1900s, most gentlemen carried a walking stick or a cane. They had two books that were written around in the 1900s about how to use a cane for self-defense. And those are two books that I have that I'm offering on this course as a bonus. So I've been in martial arts for God since 1970 and in one form or another. And I, you know, I have limited mobility. So, in, and I worked with developing this, this course because I wanted to be able to have an equalizer. I'm a small person and everybody around me is bigger. And I said, I need something a little bit more than just, you know, harsh words and fists. So by studying the use of the cane, I've had a lot of fun. I've learned a lot. And I've got something that's going to grow with me through the years. Not only the growing of the ability to use the cane, but the ability for spinning. I mean, this is something you can go on and on forever. And again, you're going to be, if you start when you're young, by the time you get old, when you really need a cane, you're going to be a damn expert. So I know in, a, in, in the real world of street fighting, there are no rules. I have no rules. I don't teach rules. I teach you concepts. I teach you uh, the, the techniques and how to do things. But mostly I try to teach you how to use your body very effectively because if in most martial arts I've found, you're not really moving right. It's very hard. Most of the, the styles are hard or spinning or doing all sorts of gymnastics to, to deliver a blow or whatever. And a lot of them are good. They've got their own styles and their own good points. But I don't find them useful for me because I found a better way to move, and it's, you move flowingly, and you can learn to use your body effectively, and you don't need as much muscle. Now, in this course here, you're going to find it's very compatible with a self-defense course. Now, self-defense is reactive. All right, people self in self-defense, they wait till somebody attacks them, and then they react and do something, okay? Now, personal protection is proactive. You remember Bruce Lee? All right. He said the best defense is a good offense. And so he came up with this concept of an offensive defense. He took and initiated. When somebody started to attack him or he thought somebody was going to attack him, he'd go right in. And that's what we do. We don't wait. I don't want to get into close quarter combat and grappling which is what most self-defense courses teach you. You've got to be in close enough to hit. I don't want to be that close. I like to be six, seven feet away. Okay? Between my arm length and that cane length, I got about six foot. Okay? From there, if I take another step, I can go another foot or two. So that's seven or eight feet. I can stand away from my opponent. I got plenty of time to watch and see when they're coming at me. Okay, so you're going to say, after I finish the course, what will I be able to do? What you're going to be able to do is use a cane very effectively. You're going to get a lot of confidence in you that you can handle yourself. When your time comes, it'll be there. And you're going to learn how to use deception, because that's one of the things us smaller people need to do. We've got to deceive the enemy to get a first strike capability, because you don't have to be fast. You need to be first. If you ever read Sun Tzu's Art of War, got a lot of good teachings. As a matter of fact, a lot of the things I've incorporated into this course use teachings from Sun Tzu. How a smaller force can overtake and conquer a bigger force. And so if you're a small person like me, you'll love the course because that's going to give you a real advantage. To my knowledge, I'm the only one teaching this course like this. One of the things I always uh, illustrate this is that having taken a course like this and getting the skills involved is like buying car insurance. You hope the heck you never have to use it, but comes a time you have an accident, you're going to be darn glad you have it. So this course, if you take it, you really can't lose. You're going to get the two books, well, actually three books, 
that I have in the course. They're worth about $60 on Amazon. Uh, you're going to get discount on combat canes if you want to buy one. There's a guarantee of a 100% of your money back if you're not satisfied. You're going to have lifetime access to this course. So don't, don't wait. If you really want to learn personal protection and you have a dedication to practice, because if you don't practice, you'll never get good at it. But start your training today. Don't wait. Sign up for this course and you'll be on your way to becoming a windmill warrior. Thank you for watching this. Good day to you. Xie xie. And that's Chinese for thank you very much.